Okay, so this is what we're going to work on. It's a, a relative motion problem, so this is kind of all the work here. Let's the back all that up and see what we have to do in order to get there. So we're going to start by reading the problem. It says an airplane which has an airspeed of 575 kilometers an hour heads directly east. The wind is blowing with a velocity of 82 kilometers an hour on a heading of 35 degrees west of south. What will be the resulting velocity of the airplane as measured from the ground? Okay, so first thing, let's start by taking the wind, and let's just kind of break it down a little bit. So the wind is blowing 82 kilometers an hour, 35 degrees west of south. So that's kind of a little tricky for some people. You're going south, you're heading west of south, so I'm going towards the west from the south. West of south means I'm measuring that way, and it's going to be 35 degrees. So that angle right there is a 35 degree angle. And then this is the vector, the velocity of the wind, 82 kilometers an hour. I need to be able to break this into its components. So I want to know the vertical and the horizontal component of this, and then I'll be able to use that to solve the problem. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to break it into its vertical component, and I'm going to call that the velocity of the wind in the y direction. And then I'll do the horizontal component. Remember, they need to be added tip to tail at a right angle. So the velocity of the wind in the x direction. So you can look at these two vectors as this is the starting point and this is the ending point. You can go the long way, down and over to the left, or you can take the shortcut, which is down and to the left. Either way, they both start at the same spot and end at the same spot. Okay, so now I'm going to use my SOHCAHTOA in order to solve this out. So if you start with the sine identity, sine of theta is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. So here's theta. Opposite is the velocity of the wind in the x direction, and the hypotenuse is the velocity of the wind. We want to solve that for VWx. So to do that, we're just going to multiply by that VW, bring it over there. So VWx equals VW sine theta. We can plug in numbers. I know that VW is 82 kilometers an hour and theta is 35 degrees. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode before you punch this in. If you do, it'll give you 47 kilometers an hour west, heading to the west. Okay. Now we're going to use cosine, and I'm going to say the cosine of theta is equal to, and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so the adjacent is the VWI and the hypotenuse is still VW. So cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. I want to solve this for VWI, so I'm going to multiply by that VW to get VWI alone, so VWI is VW times cosine theta. We can plug numbers in, and then once we do that, and punch it in the calculator, making sure, again, that you're in degree mode, because that's cosine of 35 degrees, you'll get 67.2 kilometers per hour to the south. Okay, so that's my wind components. This is my wind broken down. These two together are the same thing as the 82 kilometers an hour. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the airplane's velocity of 575 kilometers an hour, and it's going directly east. So I'm just going to draw that vector to the east. And then... I don't really need to break this into components because the thing is it already is a horizontal component. So VAX is VA. So VAX is 575 kilometers an hour east. VAY, there is none. So VAY is zero. And now it's just an easy problem. Now I just go add all the horizontal components, the X's, and I add the Y's. And once I do that, I'll be able to find the velocity of the airplane in the wind. And that's what we're going to call it. This is the velocity of the wind. This is the velocity of the airplane. I want to know what's the velocity of the airplane in the wind. Okay, so velocity of the airplane in the wind in the x direction is going to be the velocity of the airplane in the x plus the velocity of the wind in the x. And so that's going to be the 575 kilometers an hour east, velocity of the airplane in the x, plus the 47 kilometers an hour to the west. Now these are opposite directions. So really that's the same thing as saying 575 kilometers east minus 47 kilometers an hour east. Notice I didn't write west again. So this negative sign replaces that here. Okay, and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to subtract it because this wind is going against the airplane's motion. So it's canceling out some of that motion. It's slowing it down in that horizontal direction. And so now in that horizontal direction, the airplane's only moving 528 kilometers an hour towards the east. Okay, so now I can look at the velocity of the airplane in the wind in the y direction. To do that, I add the y components. Well, the airplane's only heading straight east, so the only y component is 
the velocity of the wind in the y direction, and that's 67.2 kilometers an hour south. So that is the total velocity of the wind in the y direction. So even though the airplane's heading itself has no southern pull, the wind is causing the airplane to be drawn south just a little bit. So we can draw that out. We've got my horizontal vector of 528 kilometers an hour to the east, and then tip to tail, I go right from that tip, and I drop down to the south 67.2 kilometers an hour. And then the resultant of those two, that's the velocity of the airplane in the wind. That's how the airplane is actually flying due to the wind. And so that right there is what I want to solve for. I know, again, that my velocity of the airplane in the X is 528, and the Y at 67.2, and so I want to solve for the velocity of the airplane in the wind. So to do that, two sides of a right triangle, you use Pythagorean theorem. And that's going to tell me that the speed, really, of the, uh, or the velocity of the airplane in the wind, but the magnitude of that, which is speed, squared is equal to the this side squared plus this side squared, right? A squared plus B squared equals C squared, or C squared equals A squared plus B squared, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So now, if I want to solve for VAW, then I'd have to square root both sides. So VAW is the square root of all of that. And now I can just go plug in my numbers. VAWX is the 528 which is what we got up here. VAWY is what we got up here, 67.2. Plug it in, make sure you square both of those, and then you'll get 532 kilometers an hour. That is the speed of the airplane. It's not the velocity. That's why the velocity is put in these absolute value brackets, because it only represents the speed, the magnitude of the velocity only. I want to know what is the velocity, okay? Velocity, which means I need magnitude and direction. So that's what I have to calculate here. What's the direction? What is the heading of this airplane? Well, it's going to be this angle theta right here. You're always going to pick the angle that butts up to the two tails of the vectors. And so the tangent of that angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. And the opposite is this VAWY. The adjacent is the VAWX. So we can plug those numbers in. So VAWY is the 67.2 and VAWX is the 528. And of course... If you're solving for theta, you have to take the inverse tangent. So theta is the inverse tangent of all of that. And again, making sure you're in degree mode, you would get that it is 7.25 degrees. And be careful, we want a little bit more than that. 7.25 degrees what? Which way? Well, here, based off of this, this is west and south, it's heading south of west. Okay, starting from the west, going south of west at 7.25 degrees. So it's... 7.25 degrees southwest. That's the total velocity of the airplane. 532 kilometers an hour at 7.25 degrees south of west. There you have it. Easy enough.